Let's start off with how you see today shaping up. As we mentioned, futures well off their highs. What's your WEX word of the day? Listen, this is a great opportunity for folks to take stock of what's going on in their portfolio. A lot of folks have been riding high for the last two years on a ton of tech and, and pretty happy about it. What I'd say is this is a great opportunity to rebalance your portfolios. If you have investments that are up 100, 200 um, percent and you didn't know if you should sell it or if you should hold it, uh, this should wake you up and, and that you know that you should take some of your winners off the table. I'm not saying all of them. But look at it and looking to diversify among other things besides high flying tech. And there are a number of different sectors that have opportunity. All right. So you're looking beyond high flying tech. But I do have to talk to you about high flying tech. Taking a look um, at tech over the last couple of weeks, um, it's moved into correction territory from a high back on July the 10th. If you're looking at tech, you're holding tech or you're looking to buy into tech right now, um, what would you do? W would you buy this dip? Would you wait? Do you think there's more pain ahead for mega cap tech? How are you viewing that? Listen, I think that given the run-up over the last two years, you, you really have to take stock in that a lot of these companies have valuations that are far exceeding what their uh, forecasts are for next year. And you have to look at uh, sectors that have a lot more upside. And, and for me, tech is just not one of those sectors. You've had AI be the theme of the, uh, theme of the year. And, and, and now you're starting to see, are these companies actually going to start performing based on uh, on their valuations. A lot of them are astronomical. So you, 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 for me, I'm a value investor. You've got to look for the value. Tech's not where it is right now. Um, there are a number of different sectors. Um, the, one, the number one sector I'm looking at right now uh, that I like, because I don't have a crystal ball, is the financials. Um, you're, you're, you've seen that Chairman Powell has said, and he's given everyone uh, some clues, that the Fed is seriously starting to think about cutting rates. Who cares if it's 25 or 50 basis points? The fact is uh, that we might be done with this tightening cycle, and we didn't okay. know when that was going to end. So, right. uh, Mark, now almost out of time. I, I got to jump in on you. I want to get to your pick, which is municipal bonds. We're going to show two, two, two ETFs. Um, never quite sure how to look at municipal bond ETFs, but give us a sense very quickly. Why are municipal bonds a good place to put money right now? Well, two reasons. If this continues and the, and the market decline continues, you, there's going to be a flight to quality. Uh, munis are a great place to hide out. They almost have zero default risk, nearly zero. Um, and you're also seeing that a uh, presidential election in November is happening. Um, if the Democrats win, I think you'll see higher taxes and there are going to be a, a ton of wealthy individuals going to be looking for tax-free income.